Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Ted Warburton, Interim Dean of the Arts Division. It is my great pleasure to celebrate with you and your loved ones the momentous occasion of your graduation from the University of California. Our community shares a value for responding creatively to our rapidly changing world, and you embody our trademark, the art of change. And we have seen a lot of change lately, and this is not likely the graduation celebration that you or your loved ones imagined. But here we are. Rather than dwell on what's missing, let's imagine together how each of you as artists and scholars, makers and creators will contribute to making a better future with your art of change. Upon graduation, you will also become a member of our UC Santa Cruz alumni family. And as the barn sign at the base of campus says, no matter where you are, you're still a banana slug. Stay safe, stay well, stay connected. And as you make your way in the world, please also stay in touch. Tell us about your successes and let us know how we can continue to support you. So again, Congratulations and best wishes to you and your loved ones from your Santa Cruz Slug family. Thank you, Ted, for such a wonderful welcome and introduction. And you have been such a great dean these last few years. Thank you for all the great things you've done for the art department and for our students. And I just want to say, even though we aren't here together physically, we're together in our hearts and our minds and through our creativity. We're all artists and we need you to go out into the world and shine your light on all of the things that need to be creatively changed or modified or go out and do some social sculpture. You all are living, breathing works of art and you're going to go out and change the world. And I want you to know that I wish you the best of luck. If you ever need to give us a call, please don't hesitate. It's been a strange quarter and we've all felt the strangeness, but you are now ready to shine. And with that, I want to introduce my colleague, my friend, and fellow artist, Lori Palmer. Lori, take it away. Thank you, Beth. And thank you for being a big hearted leader in a really difficult um, time. And hello, art students. I'm imagining that we're in the art department courtyard and we're surrounded by the buildings that you've spent so much time in together that there's a big table laid out with food that the persimmon tree is all leafed out and starting to grow persimmons. And we are about to decorate each of you with a necklace and congratulations and celebration of your attaining your BA. But we're not there. I'm in my garage and I'm speaking to you um, with a set of notes in front of me. And um, I hope that you'll also understand that I'm directly um, addressing you from my heart. So you've accomplished a lot and completing your BA is a huge thing in addition to doing it in the art discipline, which is a hard choice because it doesn't offer a single career path mapped out for you. You have to invent it for yourself but it's a very smart choice because it means that you always have work that you love. The only def definition of art that's ever stuck for me is one that my, one of my old teachers um, told me. He said, art is when you spend enormous amounts of time on something without knowing why. There are a lot of different ways of being an artist, lots of different kinds of work that you can make, and you all exemplify this gigantic range of art making. But I think that this quote gets to the real issue for me, which is that it's doing something that you really love to do. And that's an enormous advantage. So we are really proud of you, not only that you completed your BA, but that you've done it in, in a really extraordinary final quarter of stress and uncertainty. We're proud of your persistence, resilience, and determination, as well as the hard work and growth that you've demonstrated over the whole time of being here at UCSC. The COVID pandemic has interrupted all of our abilities to engage with the materials, processes, and people that are necessary for art making and for learning. 
navigating all of that, figuring out how to deal in order to finish your courses, to do final shows, to complete the artworks that you care about, all of that has required that you draw an exceptional resourcefulness. It's a strength that you can lean on going forward. You can also lean on the tools of critical thinking that you've developed here, along with the concrete and material practices of doing and making. Yes, the world needs you, not only to fight the savageries of racist and police violence and other inequalities and injustices, including environmental injustices that characterize this moment and that have deep roots that need to be pulled out and undone, but the world also needs you to value and to feed your creative practices, whether or not you link them directly to what obviously needs undoing in the world. I don't know what will be required to get through these times, but I do know that you will discover it. Art making sets you up with a relationship to the unknown. You don't know what the image you're printing is going to look like until you pull it off the press. You don't know what's going to happen when you mix the blue with the pink or when you put together a bunch of tin cans to make some spindly legs, how to make that stand up, but you do figure it out. I know that I worked with some of you in the writing class last year and you made visionary proposals on all scales from painting to urban planning. Making plans is a good way forward, imagining what you want and starting to head in that direction. And you don't have to know all the details because for sure they're going to change. What matters is your dedication to your work and to others. Cultivating openness and belief in the unknown results of creative practice. It may not sound practical, but it is something you can trust, that relationship with making. I hope that you'll figure out how to follow what you love to do and work with it as a guide and a source of joy, and especially that you find people to do it all with. Cultivating friendships and collectivities of, of all sorts will not only get you through, but also help you thrive. And this is not incompatible with solo art practices but it is the way forward in a world made of relationships and collectivities. But really what I mostly want to say, and I usually, I've done five versions of this talk and I've um, broken up at this point each time, maybe I can make it this time. I really appreciate the privilege and opportunity to have worked with you. And I think I speak for all the teachers in the art department. It's an enormous thing to be witness to your growth and your inventiveness and the ideas and beautiful projects that you get involved in. So it's the reciprocity of teaching that brings us all back here all the time. And um, we want to thank you at the same time as we uh, celebrate your accomplishment. So please stay in touch and don't feel shy about asking for letters of recommendation, but also just to tell us what you're doing. We really want to know what happens next. So um, at this point, I'm going to invite you to watch a video of some of your own work that has been put together to follow this. And um, congratulations once again, and please stay in touch. <laughs>